The writers think that Alabama is the best team in the nation, but the computers think that the tide is second. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz. Glad to be with you on the SEC preview show presented by Jack Link's Beef Jerky. Feed your wild side. Alabama won in the AP poll this week, hopping Florida, but two in the initial BCS poll this week against rival Tennessee. And of course, it's a game you can see on CBS beginning at 3.30 p.m. Eastern. Let's bring in CBS Sports' Spencer Tillman to uh, break this down. And uh, Spence, which side are you on? That of the computers or that of the writers? I'll tell you, it makes a lot of sense now. I know why the writers seceded from this whole process. They got it right. I mean, Alabama's the best team in the nation right now. Special teams, defense, offense, quarterback struggles of late. But you know what? They've got a running back that makes up for that. Alabama, by far and away, the best team in the nation right now. Maybe close second, Florida. All right, well, you talk about the running back. Mark Ingram may become the best player in the nation, and a lot of people are putting him up there for the Heisman off a 246-yard performance against South Carolina. What are you expecting from him against his Tennessee defense? Well, listen, Monty Kiffin, the defensive coordinator for Tennessee, is, is very, very well studied in terms of being able to understand how to gap and block and do the things that are necessary to, to prevent a guy like Ingram from busting out on him. He, know, he knows how about lane integrity, how to fit people up on the defensive side of the football. This is going to be a very much closer game than most people think it will be. A couple of great defensive minds going after one another, Nick Saban, Monty Kiffin. These guys know it. And so... I think that you're going to see a very, very balanced attack from Alabama. I think you're going to see Mark Ingram eclipse the 100-yard uh, plateau, but I think he's going to do it painstakingly with a ton of carries. But it's going to be a physical game, a dominating game from that standpoint, but a lot, a lot of bruises in this one. Well, he certainly knows uh, about that. Uh, he's been carrying the load right now for Alabama with the struggles of the quarterback the last two weeks for Greg McElroy. What about Tennessee, Spence, in this game offensively? Had the bye last week before that. Uh, they hammered Georgia at home, and Jonathan Crompton looked like a really good quarterback. Was it just one game, or do you think he's starting to get the idea of how to make some plays? Well, as impressive as he was, Jonathan Crompton, the quarterback for Tennessee, against Georgia, he was equally unimpressive against the prior competition. So I'm not sure if you need to be drinking the orange Kool-Aid quite yet. Okay, he needs to show with consistency that he's able to prevent throwing interceptions in critical situations in particular. Um, we put the coach killer moniker on him, and maybe that was a little bit unfair because Lane Kiffin, the head coach and offensive mind behind this Tennessee volunteer attack, did a fantastic job reclaiming him and getting him on track uh, against Georgia. But again, that was against Georgia. Georgia. We know how they struggle defensively of late. So we'll see if they can turn the page against a quality opponent in Alabama. Yeah, Alabama doesn't struggle defensively, Spence. Uh, once in the last five games have they given up more than seven points, and that was uh, at Kentucky. It's on CBS. Who do you like? I like Alabama by nine points. Again, at the nine points, some people think that should be bigger than that, but I think it's going to be a defensive struggle. I think that Lane Kiffin will be able to craft a game plan with the time he's had to protect his quarterback. And if they can do that, get Hardesty going on the ground, they can control the clock a lot more. Otherwise, if they can't convert on third down, it's going to be a route. It could be as, by as much as 21, but nine points for right now. Yeah, at this point, though, Spence, it doesn't matter if they win by nine or two or 21 or two. It, it, as long as they keep winning, they're going to control their own destiny. Right. We'll see how it plays you out. Bet. Spence, we'll see you Saturday on CBS. All right, Jason, we'll see you, buddy. All right, folks, for more on this game, be sure to stay right here with CBSSports.com. And again, 3.30 p.m. Eastern on CBS. That'll do it for the SEC Preview Show presented by Jack Link's Beef Jerky Feed, your wild side. For Spencer Tillman, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.